Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with the gorgeous Mel. Yes, I'm making breakfast with Ree. Perfect. So Mel, what are we making today? We are making hot Mexican eggs. Ooh, hot Mexican eggs. I'm yeah. very excited. What inspired this dish? Well, it's a dish that I have when I eat out for breakfast. Because nice. um, it's quite decadent really. It's a lot more food than I usually eat for breakfast. But, um, but I quite like spicy. Oh. Um, so it's just, yeah, it's a bit decadent. It's a decadent breakfast. Okay. Okay, so first step for your decadent breakfast, we're yeah. going to pan fry off these onions. Okay, cool. Bring it on. We'll add a tablespoon of olive oil, and then I'll let you do the honours, Mel, and put in those gorgeous onions. They're okay. smelling pretty strong, aren't they? All of them. All of them. A ton of onions. We're going to whack them all in. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So it's a small amount of oil, isn't it, for that amount of onions? Yeah, exactly. But you only need that much. A small amount. I think people yeah. don't realise that in one spoon you have, I know calories aren't everything, but it's like 120 calories in a spoon of olive oil. Yeah. And if you go to a restaurant, they are probably coating yeah. your pan. <laughs> okay, so Mel, talk to me about onions. Well, I found that when I first started to cook, I had to master the art of cooking onions because there is an oh, art to it. So true. Because it's the basis of most meals that you make. And yeah. I would always have the pan too high and end up burning things. I used to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's just what would happen. They just catch and it's all over. So that, that term sweating, it didn't come easily at the beginning, no. but I suddenly learned, yeah, you need a hot pan and then you turn it down. Is that right? Yes, yes. And then yep. it just has that warmth. So it does take a little bit of time but it's important isn't it for it's a basis so of a meal you get it just soft enough yeah. just right because so it can ruin everything can't it because it becomes bitter and the taste is absolutely everything so shall i I've turned the pan down now so we're going to sweat them out good and whilst those are sweating nicely <laughs> get our base perfect we need to chop our tomatoes and our pepper okay okay so yeah. Mel, when you're at home cooking in the kitchen do you have time what's your go-to recipe Oh gosh, what's my go-to recipe? I, for example, I'm, I love um, the slow cooker. So oh. even though that's a long process, it actually makes life much easier for me anyway. Yeah, because you can leave it. Yeah, so for example, I did a bacon joint at the weekend and I stick it in in the morning and it's just so tender and amazing by the end of the evening and you just do a big salad with it yeah. and some bread and the kids really love it. So actually, it's quick, but you have to pre-think it. Yeah. So it's all about planning for me, because I cook every day. Yeah. So and the kids love what you cook. They, they're, they're pretty good. I they mean, they're really into good. their seafood and mussels and things like that. Isn't I mean, that amazing? It, it is extraordinary for teenage boys, you know, yeah. it's just like... <laughs> but I think, uh, you know, if you get them early enough, that yeah. you can adapt, they, they'll just go with the flow on Do food. you think that inspired you? Because you've just started a new magazine, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. So do you want to explain about the mag? Let yeah. us know. Your... So I'm the editor of a magazine called Frank. As a you know, an attitude, Frank, not the name, Frank, yep. and Frank. Um, and it's for the over forty woman, and it's fashion, beauty, motoring, um, travel. Um, we've got recipes, and thank you for yours. Yeah. You're in my next <laughs> issue with the beetroot, the marvelous Excited. beetroot. Excited! I love the colour yeah. of the beet. <laughs> yeah, no, your stuff's amazing. Thank you for doing that. Pleasure. Um, and it's just celebratory. It's just all about being over 40 and all the joys that that brings, you know, yeah. and, and the things that aren't joyful, we actually discuss at length. And yeah. I mean, I'm very good at laughing at myself. And but the um, thing is, no one else is. You're doing something that no one else is doing for that genre, especially for women. It's like they forget about you once you turn oh, like 30 plus. Yeah, but apparently that's what's happening. Um, yeah. And it's just some of the stories that are emerging. And, um, you know, apparently, you know, when you hit menopause, you become an obsolete person, which yeah. is insane. I know. Um, so it's it's been an amazing addition to my life. It's full on, babe. Yeah, full I, no, I on. can't even imagine how much you have to do every day. Well, it's just because there's just me and my tech person, Millie, who is amazing. Oh. She builds the site. Yeah. But in terms of interviewing people, it will change. I need staff. Yeah. But it's an it's a yeah. startup, so yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, so planning, yeah, planning meals and feeding my boys and everything. It's always been an issue because yeah. I cook from fresh every day. Well, you're day. doing radio as well, Mel. So yeah. you're not only are you into your health and wellness because I obviously met you talking about food from day yeah. one. Anyway, yes. we're, we're both very big foodies. Yeah. But you managed to keep fit and do radio at crazy hours of the day and have a family. Yeah, but again, it, oh gosh, I sound like I'm a control freak, but I plan everything. <laughs> I mean, I, I literally factor in my exercise yeah. almost first. 
Yes. Yeah, so and then everything yeah. goes in around it. And I, I suspect because I'm older as well, I can actually do that. Yeah. So I can prioritise things. I think that's one of the beauties of getting older. You don't have to burn out because nothing may happen if you don't do it right now. You so kind true. of give yourself the right to actually, for example, yesterday I had a really important meeting and then last minute somebody invited me to Wimbledon and I chose Wimbledon yes. and, and moved the yes. meeting to later on in the day. And it's well just done. Like, I have, I've Priority. earned the right to do that. You have, and do you know what, I think all ages should take advice from that, no matter what. Yeah, no, because what's meant for you will be there for you anyway. Yeah. Nobody's going to say, well, you're not, you know, when you're right for something, you're right for something, and people work around it. So, so true. And you kind of learn that really late, unfortunately. Oh. You, you know, we should have exercised more right over yeah. my time. But yeah, so people say to me, oh, how do you do it? But actually, it is just planning, so, you know, yeah. I'll get up, and I'll go to yoga and get it out the way for the yeah. day. I feel good, yep. and I'm, I'm I function better. Just like how to sweat the perfect onion. Exactly. You work that. around the onion. And talking <laughs> of onions, should we check on our onions? Yes. Oh, they're lovely, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Yeah, perfect. Right, so onions are sweating nicely. So Mel, I'll let you chop the last pepper while okay. I just clean this bit up here. There you Thank go. Thank you. So we don't really... Gosh, which bit did you use? So oh, I there you go. There you go. We've got different ways of chopping peppers. So I'm observing. So no, you take the, I just get rid of that bit. the core out. Yeah. Like it's um like a pumpkin. Yeah, and then you, then you take the lid out. Get those out of the way. Oh, I used to love doing that as a kid. Putting all the um, seeds out of the pepper. With peppers as well, I think they're one of those types of ingredients that add so much flavour once you heat them up and roast yeah. them off. I, I love peppers. I buy them, I put them in my fridge, and I look at them and I think, they're actually quite hard work. I yes. mean, just just doing this is a pain, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. And, and I'm always sort of not that enamoured with them, but then I, I fry them off with balsamic vinegar and some onions, mm. and they're really, really yeah. nice like that. Yeah. The things that I find are really awful are things like butternut squash. Oh, yeah, you know when are. you buy a big yeah. meaty butternut squash, you've got to have a good knife or something like yeah. that. A pepper, I will always do eventually. Like yeah. you, I'll look at it, I'll be yeah, like... Go, not tonight, not tonight, yeah. not tonight, darling. And the then I think, day. I really need to <laughs> cook these before they turn. Yeah. And then when I cook them, I'm like, God, why didn't I do these days ago? Yeah. They're delicious. So yeah, Perfect. they're a funny one. So we're going to add, once we've chopped these, um, the tomatoes and the peppers into the pan with our onions. Okay, peppers are done, tomatoes yep. are ready. Right, if you want to pop those in the pan, Mel. Yes, no problem. Perfect. There we are. Okay, so we'll let that all go down now. Okay, Mel, right, so what are we going to do next? Chilies are going in. Chilies. Now, I love chilies. You do, don't you? See, I don't know if I can handle the spice. Really? Mm. Well, you know what? I'm Anglo Indian, so I yeah. was brought up eating curries from a really young age, so I actually like the heat. And, yeah. I, and it's funny because I have one son that loves it and one son that doesn't. So it's really problematic so when I'm home, cooking. <laughs> Does but the you know, spice go after? <laughs> I know, it's a, it's a pain. Like, one likes white bread and one likes brown bread, yeah. and it's just a real head fry. But anyway, chilies, I love, chilies. and the hotter the better, but I appreciate we're sharing because there's it's a big dish too. I appreciate it. So that we can too. keep it mild. Yes, consideration. Mild. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Right, so we've got three different types that we chopped earlier. Why yeah. do we have three? <laughs> Well, these are garnished, the circle, yeah. they're nice to sprinkle on top, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, I think it's nice to have a garnish, and you're being kind because we're not going to put them both, are <laughs> Don't we? Put both. Not for me today. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll save these for the garnish. Perfect. Okay. How colourful is that? Such so a lovely beautiful. sunny breakfast. Beautiful. I love eating a rainbow. That's mm -hmm. what it's all about. So, Mel, you're really into your health and wellness, which I know. Yeah. But if you are having a day where you're doing a shoot or something, or you know you're on camera, because that's some, I mean, you were shooting swimwear last week. Oh, God, so, no. <laughs> but that's a process. Like, if yeah. it's in the diary, I yeah. know. Because, like anybody that. It, I fluctuate. Yes. I'm yes. up and down all the yes. time, just a normal person. Mm -hmm. So there's days when I can get in the gym more, so I get more trim. Or there's, yeah. if I've got a, if I've got a swimwear shoot to do, of course I'm going to be more careful the week running up to it. So it's just eating really well, I guess. Lots of vegetables. Yeah, and and lots of lots of vegetables. Yeah. Stick to more green stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. everything, all the veg. Yeah, you have to because I don't. I, you know, I know some people rely heavily on yeah. retouching and things, but for me, I just no, want, you don't want to. to do that. Yeah, be honest and truthful. Truthful, and also feel good on set, and that's how I feel good on set. Well, it must be very hard for anyone to stand in front of a camera and be like, "Here I am." Yeah, it no, must be really difficult. difficult. Yeah. 
But on that note, we're going to add the greens. Good. There we go. Yes. Let's get all the greens. Yeah. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, you could do the greens. They're only they will wilt quite quickly. Perfect. And I'll get that in. And it'll wilt quick, which is good. Yeah. Love spinach. I know. Me too. Really love it. Raw, cooked, whatever. Well, it's just so good for you. Well. Yeah, yeah, I like it raw. Yeah. Just with some lemon juice and a bit of oil on it oh. for a salad is pretty good. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Let's like, just get rid of that. Got it for you there, my dear. Thank so we've you. just had some road work starting behind oh, us. No. Do you think <laughs> so, some of those guys would probably quite like to have some of this, wouldn't they? I think they'd want to come and steal <laughs> our baked eggs, to be honest. Our hot Mexican hot baked eggs. Mexican. Okay, so we're going to add tomatoes now to get that Mexican theme going and the beans. Okay, good. Yeah, so beans this good. This is an extra source of protein. This is magical. It's the best plant-based protein, things like pulses beans. So good for fiber. It's yeah. a good fiber gut. Yeah, good. Oh, goodness. Okay, so Mel, also, obviously, you came on my podcast last year. I did. Yeah, it, it was, was great so chat. Good. Well, we were talking about so many different things. Mm -hmm. And I think when it comes to nutrition, because like you just said, you've always had a big interest, but so many people are now talking about their gut-brain axis as well. And it's something on Food for Thought that we want to talk about a lot. And people just aren't getting their veg in. Yeah, I know. It is hard though. I mean, yeah. I find actually I find getting fruit in more more difficult yes. than, than veg. We do have veg with every meal. Well, it's so you're good. supposed to even really have it with breakfast. You know, spinach with eggs, perfect. You've got your green yep. first thing in the yep. morning. Yeah, hundred percent. But yeah, it's yeah, it's 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 a bit of work. It's just prepping, isn't it? It's, it's mad. Just and it it's like twenty seven percent of the UK get five a day. Twenty seven percent. That's so low. Yeah. But I, I don't even know if I get five a day, but... Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Looking at you, it looks like you're the vision of health, so no, I don't I, know. I, I, I can do that, but... Um, well, this is one meal that's definitely got you five a day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to add the tomatoes into the pan as well. But it is important because the fibre from those veggies, that's what gives us the stuff that feeds the gut bacteria, that sends the signals to your brain. And that's now linked to depression as well. Oh, and is it really? And how happy we can feel every day with our food and mood. I remember talking to somebody and they said that your gut is the CEO of your body. Yeah. Like everything, all your feelings, your emotions and mm -hmm. everything come from the gut. 100% so man. it's a really powerful thing and you've got to keep it healthy. Well, it goes to show if you, if you eat well on a daily basis like you do, yeah. you will feel better overall every day. And like yeah. you said for when you're doing shoots, and I know you don't always love the modeling work, but yeah. eating well does make you feel better. Oh, completely. It's not just about how you look, it's yeah. how you feel. Well, you, you know, you, if you don't have your veg and you do have more convenience things, you, you're just sluggish, aren't you? Yeah. And you don't feel good about yourself. And whether it's a mental thing or an actual physical thing, it doesn't really matter. The outcome no. is still a negative thing. I'm so glad you touched on that because sometimes there's so much more to health than just the physical aspects of yeah. it. Yeah. 100%. It's the weight you put, sorry, sort of mental weight you put yes. to things yes. that's that can affect you, yeah. 100%. And talking of that, we're now going to get creative and add some extra flavours to our hot Mexican baked eggs. I just love saying it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dish. So we are adding today two different spices here. Yes, yeah, so we're using cumin, yes. my favourite. Oh. I mean, I love cumin. It's good with everything. It is, isn't it? Yeah. The best. Mm. And this one, we've got our... Yeah, that's paprika, yeah. We're doing one and a half teaspoons. There you go. There's one. Yeah, you don't want to put the whole bowl of that in, half. but yes. just enough. And should we do the same with the cumin? Yeah. Okay. Let's roll. Oh, it smells amazing, Mel. One and a half. Yeah. There I am so hungry right now. <laughs> I've noticed you don't. You're not using salt. Do you? Are you trying to avoid that for any reason? Well, when it comes to cooking, sometimes salt helps break down the cell wall of the plant. Okay. So that's what a salt traditionally is for, to help yeah. the cooking process, as, as well as to obviously flavour a little bit. But in this dish, you've already got all the different spices and natural flavours, but I don't actually think you need it. And salt is in so much more than you realise. Okay. It's in all the products most people buy. You don't want more than six grams a day, really, and it's very easy to get that. Even okay. drinks. I know, it is salt. one of my... I'm, I do like salt. We can add a pinch if you no, like. No, I don't have to. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's, I, I, it was yeah, noticeable that we don't is. have any seasoning. With I it. completely agree. Yeah. But we're going for all the natural seasonings well, today. Well, that's good. Right, so everything's in, and now the best bit, which could go wrong, but hopefully will go well, we'll do 
two eggs each on right. top of the dish. Okay, fine. Right. I just, yeah, I just, if this shell gets in there, just, just consider it a bit of roughage. It's fine, it's fine. We can fish it out, we can fish it out. Here we go. Oh. Oh. There's the first one. Perfect. Look at that yolk. That looks great. Let's go for number two. Mel, you are a pro. Uh. You are an expert egg cracker. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Doesn't that look great? Oh, look how the white's coming up. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, it looks watch. amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. So, so good. Oh, Love yeah, it. the knife's good, isn't it? I know. I just find the knife because I often end up, I'm not as good as you, I end up getting it down the side of oh, the Oh, that, that looks great. Down the side of the bowl, whereas that just comes straight out. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to add this into our oven or you can use a grill at home because either way, it's still going to be hot. Yeah. And that'll be our baked eggs. Lovely. Okay, so our eggs have been cracked and now eight minutes into the oven. Here we go. Okay. Teamwork here. Ooh. Perfect. Oh my goodness, Mel, it looks so good. It looks really good. One of the eggs is slightly sunken, <laughs> but... It looks amazing. So that's what the beauty of it, because then we'll dip the bread in. That's true. Really and also we can chuck a bit more garnish over that area. Perfect. <laughs> Cheese can cover that it? bit. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Right, let's garnish this, Mel. Yeah, okay. so just, yeah, just everything. Everything. Cheese. What kind of cheese is this? Oh. So this looks gorgeous. We've got a nice cheddar. <laughs> Amazing. Coriander? Yeah. Love coriander. Mm. Oh I'm, my I'm not gosh. very good at making things look pretty, so I'm sorry, sorry about that. This looks amazing. It's so good. What a team effort. Right, yeah. Okay, chilies are on. Boom. Oh, okay, I'm so excited to try this. I know, so I'm trying to get one, one yeah, egg. Let's get a whole egg in that gorgeous bowl. Oh, that looks beautiful. That yolk is going to be Look at so that. dreamy. Right. Great. Okay, fork for you, my darling. Thank you. Fork for me. Go. And obviously if you're at home, you can crack the bread in, go dipping if you've got it on the family for a table of four maybe. But I would say this would last you a good week if you want to put it in the lunchbox as well and you can have it the day or two after. Oh my God, that's so good, babe. Mm. That is amazing. Mm. It just needs a little bit of salt. <laughs> She's like, I want salt and more spice. <laughs> no, 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 it's actually, the, the it's got a nice kick to it. Oh my it. God, it's gorgeous. It's got a really nice kick mm. to it. Well, Mel, thank you so, so much mm. for coming into the kitchen Pleasure. today. You're so good. And if you guys like this video, please comment below. Let us know your feedback and we'll be making lots more for you very soon. You might even see Mel back doing a workout with me. Oh yeah, I'll get sweaty. There we go.